Remember all the hassle of separating cans and plastics, and paper, and all your other recyclables by hand? Well, thankfully, those days are over. We can just put them all into one recycling bin. And it's all thanks to single stream sorting technology. It makes recycling easy and painless for you and I. In this video, we will take a closer look at this technology and see it in action at one of the Midwest's most state-of-the-art recycling facilities. Rumkey Waste and Recycling Services operates 11 recycling centers in Ohio and Kentucky. Today we focus on the Material Recovery Facility near downtown Columbus where single stream technology allows this facility to sort between 60,000 and 80,000 pounds of material every hour. Rumpke's overall goal for recycling is to make it as easy and convenient as possible for our customers. Jonathan Kissel served as our tour guide through the facility, explaining how tons of mixed recyclables go from a pile on the tipping floor to bales of one single type of material. The mix of recycling is separated through a system of innovative technology using rotating discs, electromagnets, and optical scanners to allow us to effectively separate items by type to be prepared to be used by end users to make into new products. The optical scanners use infrared technology that shine, on, shine a light onto the items on the conveyor belt below. The items on the conveyor belt then reflect back a specific sine wave that the optical scanner is calibrated to read and detect. And when it reads and, and receives a specific sine wave from the item, it triggers a burst of air to eject the item from the conveyor belt. So for example, the optical scanner that is looking for a milk jug or a laundry detergent bottle, it will reflect back differently than does the aluminum can that's right next to it. So the optical scanner understands and knows that it should eject the milk jug or laundry detergent bottle but leave the aluminum can for another stage of the process. Over the course of a year, Rumpke will recycle close to 700 million pounds of materials. That's 700 million pounds of items that will not go to the landfill. 700 million pounds of items that will be made back into new products that will be back on the shelf for individuals to use or businesses to use to make their, their products that they make. So what do these 700 plus pound bales eventually become? Plastic bottles and jugs can be high strength plastic strapping or drainage pipe. Glass bottles and jars can be, well, glass bottles or fiberglass insulation. Cartons can be tissues or office paper. Metal cans can be car parts, appliances. Uh, aluminum cans again. And then your paper, paperboard and cardboard, well, they can be reborn as new versions of themselves. Single stream technology has been around for about a dozen years, but its availability is still being rolled out. It's still new in Southern Ohio, where the Gallia Jackson Meggs Vinton Solid Waste District partnered with Rumkey just earlier this year. Rumkey uh, took over the uh, public drop-off boxes from the Gallia Jackson Meggs Vinton Solid Waste District uh, back in January, and it's been a really seamless transition. Um, we've seen great participation, very clean recyclables, and uh, the program is uh, moving along very well. GJMCRecycling.com has information like Dropbox locations, and the web is also a great resource to find out more about recycling from Rumkey's wealth of online resources. Rumkey offers a variety of educational resources for the public. We offer them online so that they can be accessed by a variety of customers throughout our service territory. You can go to www.rumkey.com or you can go to www.rumkeycleanandgreen.com. Clean and Green is our educational website and we offer a blog and printable materials for educators. Rumkey has been in, in the single stream business uh, since around the year 2000 and that's pretty much when it began to uh, make its way all across the country. Uh, the process though itself has become more innovative over the, over the years. The single stream process that we have today in 2014 is much different and faster than it was in the year 2000. 
the system today is much more automated, meaning we have more equipment and machines doing the work that uh, manual laborers used to have to do. And what we've been able to do, though, is take the, the workers and move them from uh, physical sorting stations to more quality control stations to help us prepare a better quality material for the end users to make into new products. So we, we do see a steady increase year over year of, of more recycling. Our ultimate goal is to recycle more and trash less.